What's up cubers, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be doing a tutorial on 3x3 F2L, which will help in a tutorial for CFOP that I'm going to do. But I was practicing with my clock today, just timing myself, just messing about with it really. And, well, I need to show you something. My times, like, I've been practicing, but definitely not as much as I'd like, but my times have They've gone down so much. Just consider. Well, <laughs> just bearing in mind that my average time would be about thirty seconds, forty seconds. You know what? Watch the video and you'll see. Okay, so before we start, I'm just gonna move three by three to the other side. Now I have a screenshot it on my phone and I will be putting it up on the screen or just come just like putting my times in the description. But if I just scramble my clock quickly, I can't ever say that. Quickly clock clock quickly. I also find it really hard to scramble just like randomly. I always have to go on CS timer and like find the scramble. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so just quickly look at that time seventeen point eight five two, and we have a fully sold clock. And no, that wasn't a lucky shuffle. That this is my time now. Obviously, that like this is my PB. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not happy about it. This is my PB. I I was getting like I didn't get a single solve above thirty seconds. Uh, well, there was one, but I messed it right at the start because I kept putting the pin up and then I mean putting the pins down like accidentally flicking it up and I was just like, don't, don't get the right here. Yeah. So that's annoying. But yeah, look at that. Like compared to my times for that first video where I actually said I was gonna do it. Uh, my mind's blown. So I'm just going to do one more, just to prove it wasn't a fluke. Although I don't know why you'd think it was a fluke, because I'm I'm going to get this record, you know. So I will, next video I will be having a look at actually, I know, I know, I'm a bit early, but I will be having a look at the actual world record, maybe national record if that's just crazy okay well it always scares me that's why i need the stand but i put it somewhere okay again this <laughs> Look, this is crazy because this morning I was getting like 25 seconds. This is crazy. Whenever I put myself on video, I do so well. So we had a 17 and 19. I think that's pretty awesome. Leave a like if you do too. Now let's actually get on to learning F2. Okay, moving this and this to one side. We have my best speed cube at the moment. Yes, it is the GAN with hardly any logo left and it's 356m quite old because they just brought out a brand new one but it works pretty well especially after i've moved it um so f2l f2l is the first two layers so normally you put the corner in like this and then the edge whereas f2l it puts them both in together okay so before i show you how to do f2l let me scramble the cube up and then we're just going, I'm going to do everything on white cross today so it's easy to follow along. So the first two layers, when they're paired up, the corner and the edge, so it's not the first two layers, but it, like the bit that goes in, corner and the edge will be together and the colours will match. So if you ignore the white, we see red and we see green, they both match. Now to insert it, it's kind of hard to put an algorithm on it because you either just do that or if you're feeling fancy, you just do that. So I'm just going to say this is intuitive now. You do R, U, R prime, but if you don't understand that, you just kind of, 
it's like it's fairly easy to put it in. You wouldn't go it's in. You you you'll work it out, especially when I go back and do the example souls, I'll explain it a lot more. So now we see this corner in the top layer and this one. I'm gonna pick this one because we just built this one so it's easier to go here. So this is blue and red. So we look for the blue and the red edge piece in the top layer. So remember, edge pieces have two colours, corner pieces have three. So I don't see it in the top layer, which means it's either in one of these three. And as you saw at the start, it's here. So we do a right or left trigger to take it out. And now, this is the first bit where we start to pair. So, the colours on the top of the corner and the edge, they match. And this is the... I find it easier to do it when they match, but it doesn't matter. You just kind of, it's the way the cookie crumbles. If they don't match, they don't match, but it's kind of as easy to put it in. So this piece needs to come here. Now we can't just go like that because that needs to go there and there. And it, it, we're just in a loop of spinning it around. We don't know how to get it there yet. So again, F2L, this is pretty much intuitive. You can do it by yourself. Because what you need to do is we need to get a hit, but we need to stop this piece from moving. So we can hide it, just put it in the bottom, because it won't mess up anything here unless we've got a pair there, but we don't. Move it where it needs to go, and then we can just bring it back up. So you see, they're paired, just like this one, like that. It's paired up. So then we know that blue and blue matches, but it's got red on the top, so... Red and blue, you want it to be on the top colour, if that makes sense. So the blue won't be matching on the blue, it'll be on the opposite colour. And then we put it in, so L U L prime, L prime U L. There we go. But if you didn't understand that, I'm really sorry, I will go for it in an example still. So again, sometimes while you're making other pairs, blocks will pop up. Because there's another word to call them blocks. They will pop up and you just have to go with the flow try not so i can see this piece and this piece but if you see a pair put it in because it saves so much effort so we insert it fairly easy and then the last one this is probably the hardest one and i'm going to try and make it so that the corners don't match so obviously the corners in the top layer and we want to take the edge piece out of where it was with a left trigger right trigger or just anything to just get it out of where it is without messing up the corner so you can see i messed it up a little bit there because they didn't match and it was already in the right place where it was and i want to show you how to get it in the right place so blue orange it doesn't match so if you see we do this it isn't paired up and also as you notice there there's one piece here without like an actual pairing yet if i were to do it here it takes out this pair so you want to put the corner if you put it over the pair and then move it one across so that if you're holding it there's a, a blank and a solved you want to have it above the solved and then hold the blank bit at the back so what we're going to do again this piece needs to come here so if you do a right trigger or let me explain it this way hold it so that the white sticker or tile or it doesn't matter is facing you and then you want to put your finger across the top now if it's if they match blue and blue the piece will need to come here next to it if not it goes opposite so we need to get this piece into this slot here and we can do that by hiding the corner and moving the edge across and then putting the corner back up and now oh no they're not paired up ah! well it doesn't actually matter because this is fairly easy we have the edge at the back, the corner at the front, they don't match, right trigger, boom. And that is F2L done. So I'm going to go through an example solve now, and hopefully you'll understand it. Okay, scrambling it up, I'm going to make my cross again. I'm going to talk through this as well. Actually, you know what, I'll do it in my beginner's tutorial, I will make a tutorial. So looking around and i see this corner oh no these two are in the top layer i see this one and this one now i can just i need to move this corner away it's in the wrong place so i can just hide it move it across and put it back up so that actually sets up perfectly because they don't match and if i put my finger here 
if it matched it should go here so it doesn't it needs to go here but look it's already there so left trigger and i've got my first pair now looking around again okay i have this one and this one so i move this away and take the edge out and then to pair them up if we do this it doesn't work you see this edge is in the wrong place so what we can do is we hide this piece and this piece needs to come here so boom we've got the pair all you have to do is hide the corner that you're going to put in and then move the edge piece wherever you want it to go that's paired then we can put it in i'm going to do it a bit differently there we go and then we see this piece and looking around okay the edge is here so what we can do is we can take the edge out it doesn't matter how you do that i did it a bit weirdly then but what's happened is it's made this pair now yes i know i was doing orange and green but when this happens when a pair just builds accidentally you have to take advantage of it even if it messes up one that you've just set up it saves so much time what well, not so much time but it saves making a pair that you didn't need to make if you just put it in and then go on to the next one now i've actually got really lucky and it's set up in the exact spot i see that they don't match so i put my finger on if it matches it goes here if it doesn't it goes here it's already there and then we can just insert it so thank you for watching my tutorial i got insanely lucky on that example so leave a like if it helped and share this video with your friends share it with your family just the aim of this channel is to make the cubing community as big as big as big as possible see you next time